Hello, this is going to be a shader tutorial from Substance Painter to Unreal Engine 4 and shader going to have the theme of sci-fi movies, sci-fi games like Mass Effect Andromeda or something like that. Let's start, file new and template is Unreal Engine 4 algorithmic. I'm going to take my mesh, okay. Yeah. Uh, a simple mesh, nothing fancy, some cut to have the antrum with the team. I'm gonna bake textures, I don't need ID, 2k is fine, distance I'm gonna put 005 and I don't have a high poly for this one so I just need the base textures. If you have a high poly, you're gonna have the better normal, so just use like me. It's baking, okay. Now we have the textures. First of all, we start by, by <coughs> fill layer. Oh, uh, before that, we need to enable emissive. I'm gonna use emissive for short brightness and texture set settings hit the plus icon and select emissive uh, I have emissive so ok start by fill layer we only need uh, for base I'm gonna call this base color and roughness for colors uh, a dark color this is gonna be a base texture, base color for our texture. So it should be super dark. I like the blue, maybe I like purple. Okay. For roughness, I'm gonna use on the grunge tab onto your shelf one of the grunge textures. I don't know, maybe this one. Okay, this one. No, just choosing and it works. Let's see. This one. Yep. Okay. Now it's time. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna use this one. Turn more. Okay. This is fine. On top of the base layer, I'm gonna use another fill layer for extra details. I'm gonna use a black mask. Right click on the black mask and add a generator and mask editor. Okay, I'm gonna alt left click on the mask to see the mask. First of all, let's choose a grunge texture for this one too. Under the imp image input and texture, I use another grunge texture. First, let's take your opacity on one because I need my base texture to influence. So, a little detail. Okay, rotation is wrong. Uh, I need curvature. Let's see the mask. I want some nice 
Mask around the edges and some detail, normal information, if you will. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, a little more sharp. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but it's gonna have some normal detail. Not a good texture. This one's better. I don't need color. I just want detail. For the normal to have some uneven edges, uh, let's see the mask. Okay, a little bit more balance, more variation. Looks fine. Nope, too much information. Lower the Right. Okay. Normal pop and base color seems fine. Next step is add another layer. I only need MC for this one. I'm gonna influence the base color and make something like uh, make the lower heart glowy kind of like crystal but not too glowy we want the depth to go from bottom to up so i need a first i need a color with less and um, more toward the black or something like this i'm gonna add a black mask to this too and add a generator Mask editor again. Okay, for this one, we need to influence from the lower part of the mesh to around middle or around here. Okay, mm. I'm gonna use warp position, pushing gradient. Okay, let's invert that. This is normal, something like this you sickness a little more I want the mask to go from bottom to around middle a little whiter so the color can influence better as you can see I want to glow a start from here but, but of some overglow up on the next layer so I'm gonna play around with the position gradient and thickness a little more less balance seems fine okay I'm gonna control W and duplicate this layer I'm gonna invert the mask so this one influenced the higher part of the object. Uh, let me open some space. For this one we need more color as well as let's do edit the mask so it won't influence the lower part that much. I don't want this to influence the edge. So curvature goes the opacity little less texture opacity till high. I'm gonna play around with the values so I get what I want. Dark, a bit better. 
Okay, seems all right. Now, if I want different colors, all I have to do is select the lower part. Holy shit! Lower part. Higher part. Okay. Now all I have to do is come here, change the color to what I want. Maybe I want an icy crystal or something. Yeah, this feels fine. That's it. Now I need to export my textures to this. I'm gonna use the Unreal Engine for Packed and Real Engine for Packed. 2K is fine. Export. Okay. This is textures. My UV sucks in this object, so you do a better job than me. This is my UV. I know. Next, I'm gonna go to this is one of my scene by the way. I have it on marketplace, you can buy it, support me. Anyway, I'm gonna import the mesh as well as textures. This is the mesh. Yeah, half collision. This is the mesh. I'm gonna create import textures first. Hmm. Okay, crystal. I'm gonna drag all the textures here. Let's just start with simple material. This emissive color into emissive color normal and occlusion roughness. Ah, by the way, this texture is packed all the channel. Red is our, our ambient occlusion, green is our roughness, and blue is a metallic we don't have one so or this one okay I'm gonna use a lerp node use roughness roughness channel over pack texture as an alpha <coughs> as an alpha and control the texture control the roughness values in the lerp so I'm gonna call this roughness A duplicate this one roughness B A is black parts of the texture so it's gonna be zero B is white part gonna be one so as you can see we have our default texture we can manipulate it on the run in the engine this is going to roughness okay we're getting something next one we don't have metallic but I'm gonna make it up for emissive map, I'm gonna multiply it with scalar parameter. By the value of two, I guess, for default, so it can influence the map. 
for normal I'm gonna use two vector three parameter for one by holding down three and click for first one I'm gonna set the blue channel to one <coughs> and red and green to zero <coughs> I'm sorry for the second one I'm gonna red and green to one and blue to zero multiply it with constant number converting it to a scalar I'm gonna call it normal intensity default value of one add it with the blue channel multiply it with texture and connect this to normal with this value we can control how much normal we want as you can see I don't know if you can see this is 50 multiply 50 I'm gonna set it default for now okay save okay that should work first of all I'm gonna apply the material to shader as you can see it's work almost good I'm putting it on my scene Ooh. Yeah, the control to roughness. I'm gonna get material instance. Oops. Apply it to the object roughness values and I'm gonna select the mesh in the map. Go to light mass settings, use MEC for aesthetic light. I need to check the light map resolution. 156, that should work. Okay. It's too much cartoonish, so. First, let me see if boost up five. Then, material instance normal two. Let me see value of one and point five. It is working somehow but it's not perfect I don't know why I should have messed with the mask editor a little bit more but let's start that's working uh, I can open this and more green red a bit more maybe an ambient occlusion map set it to multiply does nothing color is this one I'm gonna use a darker color and export this or maybe fill orange -ish. 
Okay. It's too clean. Let me change the grunge map. Maybe this one. Maybe. Yeah, a little bit more contrast. Yeah, okay. Let's put it red. Red. Export textures. Let's delete the old ones. Export. Okay. Our new textures. Let's go to Unreal. Reimport textures. Oops. Okay. Okay. Okay, and what's wrong? But it's not as good as it should be. Okay, let's finish copying a bunch of these so it can influence the lighting a little bit. stop the video and when the building is finished you can see the result okay build finished it took around 40 minutes I don't know why the senior gets around 10 minutes and 7 I, I can't pronounce that in English anyway this is the finished product uh, not perfect good yeah this gets the job done I guess anyway thanks for watching this should be a four minute tutorial but it's 25 I guess <laughs> yeah I hope it's useful at least it didn't waste you to 25 minutes of time okay see you around